Hi there and welcome back to the channel. Today we're back with another Quick Win Wednesday. Today we're going to talk about how to work with multiple databases in a Laravel project. So let's dive into it. Okay, so we're here with the application that we have built before with the book library. I've added um, to the database, uh, well, we have the current database in here with the books and the reviews and the users and, and so on and the wallet. Um, and I created this new empty database called Demo App. Two. Um, for starters, we're going to add uh, the database connection to the environment file. So we're just going to copy this here. And what I like to do, I just like to add um, something else to the prefix here. So db underscore and let's call it log because I just want to log something very small. And well, username and password, uh, because my local development environment are the same. And demo app number two will be the database name. All right, so that's it for the environment file. So now we're going to use these variables in the configuration file of the database. So we're going to head over to config, then database PHP. And in here we have the connections. So the connections we have, uh, yeah, MySQL, SQLite, uh, Postgres, and so on. And I'm just going to copy the MySQL part. There we go. And I'm just going to call it MySQL number two. And in here, I'm just going to quickly grab db underscore and I'm going to adjust all of these because I named it db underscore log underscore. And that's actually all there is to it for the configuration of the database. Uh, the config file actually of the database. All right, so now we're going to start off with um, the model, right? The, the log model. So PHP artisan make model, and I want uh, to call it backlog because log is a keyword and yeah, you know. So backlog and dash M to create a migration. All right, so it created the migration for us. Cool. All right, so we head over to, uh, what was it, uh, boom, 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 database migrations. And in here, I'm just going to quickly close this. Um, we have a new migration. And in here, we can add, uh, just before the create a connection, because I want to add this column to, uh, add this table to another connection, so another database. And I wanted to add, add it to it, to the uh, MySQL number two. Go ahead and save this. And we're actually going to uh, add something in here as well. So I want a string um, log item. So yeah, just this is only to demonstrate this for you. This, so this isn't real production things. So yeah, you can add whatever you want. All right, so now we created our migration and well, let's run it. So um, here we go. PHP artisan migrate. All right, so it created the migration for us. It re actually ran the migration for us. And if we go to the database and I reload this, now I have backlogs in the app, demo app number two. And if I go to demo app itself, we don't have any of these. I'm just going to make this a bit, bit larger for you. Um, we don't have any of those um, backlog tables in here. And if I head over to demo app number two, we only have backlog and it's empty because yeah, we didn't log anything yet. All right, so migrations are done. Uh, let's head over to the model itself to define, um, yeah, that the model needs to use the connection that we want it to use. So in here, um, I'm just going to add protected. There we go, protected. Um, and it's a protected connection. Because yeah, this is yeah something that is predefined in Laravel for us that we can override. So uh, the connection, and I want to set it to MySQL number two. There we go. And I also want to make, um, and I'm just going to quickly going to copy this from somewhere else. Uh, let's see, a book is fillable. Here we go. Up. And I want to make um, the log item fillable as well. There we go. So that's all there is to it. Um, all right, so now how to demonstrate this in action, right? I, well, in a previous demo, we used something called a command to give coins to a user. 
um, and I suggest we just yeah reuse this command. And in here, I want to um, add the backlog. There we go. And let's say backlog. Um, uh, pom 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 create and the create function needs an array of uh, log item and the log item well we're going to add uh, in here uh, yeah uh, gave two coins to user with id one because yeah we're using id one this is only for demonstration purposes only so all right, so PHP artisan, uh, what was it called? CWB, oh, let me check, uh, gift coins. All right, gift coins, there we go. So it ran, if we head over to the database and we browse, oh, it's NULL and I made a mistake here. Let's see what I look, oh, okay, I made a typo here. It's log item, run again and Let's go over here. Give two coins to user with ID one. So yeah, that's actually all there is to it. So that's how you can use multiple databases in your Larva project by defining a connection on a model or on a migration to perform something in another database than the default one. Um, yeah, I hope you learned something from this and like and subscribe and I'll see you in one of the next videos. Take care, bye-bye.